Hey everyone, welcome to the Married Life of Rich and Kevin. I'm Kevin, and uh, this evening, very excited, the long-awaited uh, Spring in the Shire collection from Mythology Candles has arrived, and uh, we're getting ready to do the uh, unboxing here. So, uh, UPS, uh, I asked Rich if he wanted to sit in on this, and he just gave me a weird look. So uh, he's off doing something else. And uh, and then I gave him a second chance, and he said he'll smell them all <laughs> later off camera. So uh, anyway, here we go. But um, Mythology did things a little bit differently this time. They took everything as a pre-order. And uh, hey, Bo. A second, we got Boromir up here. Come on, get down. Go. All right, you want to stay up here? Okay. Kitty's going to stay with us. And, uh, but anyway, Mythology uh, did this batch as uh, advanced orders back in March with a four to six week uh, delivery time. And we got another kitty up here. We've got uh, Aethelwolf. Hey, buddy. Aethelwolf is a Flame Point Siamese, and uh, he's a sweetheart. He's our youngest. Okay, come on, get your butt out of the camera. Always want to be where the action is. You got to see him on Christmas morning. So uh, anyway, uh, the Spring in the Shire collection is available now. You can find them on Mythology Candles uh, website, and we'll put the link in the description. So uh, we got the books open, and... Uh, you know, well packaged paper, all of this. And uh, one of the things was uh, for the first, what was it? 200 orders, uh, art print. And here we have uh, the party tree on Bilbo Baggins' birthday with a sign that says party business. Uh, this is very, very charming. And uh, I think I will have this uh, framed and put it in our den. And there's nothing on here about who the artist is, but uh, that's something that could be on the website. So, thank you. And then also we have the card from Leah. Thank you for your purchase. Uh, this particular one was packaged by the amazing Zabrina. So thank you, Zabrina, for, for packing these for us. Um, candle care on the back. And uh, there are six in the uh, collection. And I purchased the 10 ounce of five of them because uh, one of them uh, was a predominantly food smell one. That one was called Party Business. And um, it was reputed to smell like kettle corn and funnel cake and, and, and uh, just sort of, uh, to me, seemed like um, overly sweet, sugary. And um, I am not partial to that and, and neither is Rich, so we opted out of that one. But I have no doubt it's still a good one. So we've got the two ounce freebie that came and uh, this one is Bearded Tree. You know, after tree, board, tree Beard, this is a, a two ounce. Mm, sample tin with uh, regular cotton wick. Mm, it smells like cedar, moss, a little bit of musk, very outdoorsy. So uh, thank you very much. Now, to get on to the main ones, all of these are uh, packaged in their own nifty little boxes, Spring in the Shire. So our first one is Droppin' Eaves, and uh, this, you may remember the scene. Uh, in the movie where uh, Gandalf and Frodo find uh, Sam eavesdropping outside the window and, and Sam's claiming that I ain't dropping no eaves. But um, let me see what it says here on the website. Uh, 
All right, let me see if I can get rid of this. There's an annoying little pop-up. There we go. A not-so-innocent bystander, gardening in the darkness, intense whispers of dark lords and mysterious rings, and a sudden commission to save the world. Notes of magnolia, orange blossom, lavender, honeycomb, and tonka bean. Oh. Mm. I am smelling the orange blossoms right away. This followed by the honey. Oh, wow. This is very floral and very sweet, and it smells like a very fragrant bouquet of fresh flowers. Mmm, I like this. Okay, dropping eaves. Any of you who enjoy sweet floral fragrances, fragrances and want to get away from something other than roses, here we go. All right, next we have Ring on the Mantle. Let me find description here. You can hear the neighbor's dog barking. All right, Ring on the Mantle. A mysterious old relic has been kept hidden for many a year. Now it lies beckoning on the mantle above the fireplace. I feel a strange draw to it lately. Notes of cedar wood, patchouli, vanilla musk, amber, and dark secrets. So, ring on the mantle. Mm. Cedar and patchouli right up front, and um, Rich really likes the combination of, of uh, cedar or other, other uh, evergreen woods and patchouli, so he's gonna love this. Softened a bit by slightest bit of vanilla. This is a wonderful scent. Has kind of a mysterious note to it. Something undefinable. Okay, ring on the mantle. And I don't know if y'all can hear this or not, but I've got the uh, Hobbit son soundtrack playing on Spotify in the background. I thought that that was appropriate to have uh, some background music. I, I've gone back and rewatched some of the other unboxing videos and, and uh, just sounded a little bit eerie that the only noise in the background was our mantle clock. Okay, so this one is... Next one, a very old friend. So that is, of course, in reference to Gandalf. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Hey, Bo. Very old friend, the warmth of an old smile peeking out from underneath a pointy hat. Stern wisdom, wit, and a hearty laugh that echoes through the ages. Notes of dusty robes, spilt ink, amber, and earthly musk. So, very old friend. Okay, this is the... This is the lightest scent so far, at least unburned. Bo scratching his chin on the on the camera here. Mm. This is very clean, but not not bright clean. Just kind of old clean, maybe. I can imagine smelling some dust off of this. A little bit of sharpness from if anyone. Uh, remembers back when uh, bottles of link liquid ink were sold for penmanship or for arts and crafts and well I suppose you can still get them at Hobby Lobby or something but 
There's definitely the smell of ink here, so very old friend. Another good one. So far, I've yet to be disappointed in anything I've purchased uh, from Mythology. So as, as far as buying candles online without having a chance to smell them, I find, to my nose, the, the scent descriptions to be pretty bang on. Uh, next is Gaffer's Garden. This one has, has been getting a lot of buzz from uh, people commenting on the website's Facebook page. Let me see here. Okay, Gaffer's Garden. We have, it comes up here. Just outside the round green door lies a lush kitchen garden bursting with new growth full of Gaffer's seasonal favorites. Notes of green tomato vines, wild herbs, rich soil, and hard work. <laughs> and you, you get the tomato leaf smell, the tomato vine smell immediately. This smells like an herb garden. This smells like an, an herb garden with some tomato plants. In it. This is fantastic. Uh, this is not sweet at all. This is green and this is herbal and this is absolutely wonderful. Mm, well worth all the buzz surrounding it. So Gaffer's Garden. And the last one in this batch is... Dance with Rosie and uh, the Hobbit maiden who stole the heart of, of our hero Sam. I have a feeling this is going to be very, very enchanting. So let's see what we got here. So, a dance with Rosie. With a glowing smile and ribbons in her hair, Rosie beckons for one more dance under the pavilion as the sun sets behind lush hills and berry bushes. Notes of raspberries, strawberries, and cream with a hint of rosemary. Mm. Enchanting is, is the perfect descriptor for this. <laughs> this is, wow. You get strawberries and cream right off the top. Does anyone remember the, the Lifesavers candy called uh, Cream Savers? They had them in all kinds of, of, of flavors. And uh, one, one of them was, was a berries and cream or strawberries and cream. And, and on, on first sniff, it reminds me of um, those Cream Savers. It's very smooth strawberry. And underneath that, you can smell uh, the raspberries and a little bit of sharpness from the rosemary. So it, it's, it's got a sweetness to it, but not overly so. And, and again, this is just absolutely enchanting. This, this is fantastic. Mmm. Okay, Dance with Rosie. And uh, so that was it. Um, five out of six, so I'm, I'm very pleased with the purchase. Um, I was really excited that Spring in the Shire was the, excuse me, was the um, theme for, for the uh, spring and, and will likely carry over into summer collection. So once again, Mythology Candles. Um, went through all the details uh, about how they formed, who, who the brains behind the, the initial appearance of the candles are, Liam McHenry. And uh, I am happy to say that her business has grown into um, a major enterprise. Uh, you can find um, 
more information about how they grew and what they attribute their success to and uh, um, just how they found their market niche. And, uh, and again, for us, it's a small business that uh, we are thrilled to death to support. And um, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, oh yeah, and I wasn't gonna let this end without commenting on the uh, clean shaven here. Um, remember in our How We Met video when I had that slip of the tongue and um, said that uh, I was gonna pay for that later? Well, middle of the night, uh, I don't know, I must have slept walked and got a razor and just did myself a uh, racing stripe up one side of the cheek because I woke up in the morning and the whole thing had to come off. But um, Rich said he slept through it. Hmm. Who knows? Mystery for another day. May have to set one of those uh, uh, night cameras up to monitor my movements. So anyway, uh, enough of that. Um, everyone, thank you for tuning in. Um, we will be dropping a couple more videos this week. And um, again, Mythology Candles, their description, I'm sorry, their website address is in the description. Give them a look and uh, see what all they have to offer. Um, I have no doubt you'll find something that's uh, perfect for your taste. So with all that being said, if I can find the, there it is, find the little remote. Everybody take care. Talk to you soon.